We start together with the operators of this multi-purpose German machine. It'll come in handy for shredding branches, taking care of lawns, working in difficult forest terrain, and other tasks. Two versions are shown in the video. The Raptor 100 is a 75 horsepower remote controlled model. The Raptor 200 is a 190 horsepower model with a cab. Both machines operate on slopes up to 45 degrees and are equipped with a mulcher and LED lights. The remote control model has a 328 foot range, while the cab version comes with air conditioning, heated seats, and impact resistant windows. And of course, the tracks of both machines are also designed for soft ground with plenty of roots and other obstacles. Italy is known not only for its soccer team, its magnificent architecture, and its delicious wine, but also for its cool shipbuilding developments. For example, a locally produced yacht is estimated at $330 million. And in order to gently launch and hoist it, an Italian company has come up with this amphibious system. The manufacturer has something to offer even to the most demanding customers. The entry-level model of the series lifts about 100,000 pounds, while the most advanced model lifts 529,000 pounds. Wheeled and tracked versions with one or more diesel engines are available, and the clever design allows for a 59-inch increase in width in the most advanced model. Some wheeled models can move sideways too. Many people, including DIYers, love small, smart cars. They come up with all kinds of improvements. Once, experts put a 1300 horsepower helicopter engine into a smart, increasing the maximum speed to 200 miles per hour. And in winter, these small, funny cars are often put on tracks. The inventor of this vehicle assembled the tracks and the skis himself while others use parts from snowmobiles and ATVs, also getting a good result. Unfortunately, there is no information about the time or money it took, but a similar project cost about $7,000 and took six weeks to complete. Many people know what a monster truck is. A car with a powerful engine and big wheels, designed specifically for monster jam competitions. They include off-road races, jumps, and acrobatic stunts to delight the audience. Today's selection also includes a monster truck, but the wheels have been replaced with tracks. It's built on a 1934 Ford sedan, and the engine is a diesel Dart 540. There's no specific data on the upgrades, but the standard version produces 675 horsepower, so the driver won't complain about the lack of power. We continue our selection with this vehicle. It's lighter and cheaper than an ATV or a snowmobile. It can handle any season, and it can float. From hunting and fishing to hauling supplies and making ski trails, the 15 horsepower output is enough for a variety of tasks, and the fuel consumption is 0.7 gallons per hour. Plus, the standard model weighs 386 pounds, making it easy to transport. This vehicle can reach up to 20 miles per hour, and driving it doesn't require any special skills or knowledge. Able to get where the vast majority of other vehicles can't go, believes the seller. The price starts at $3,250. Snowfalls can be tricky. In April 2022, 7,500 people in Bavaria were left without power because of snow. And in December, a snowstorm hit Japan, and not only flights, but also trains had to be cancelled. A tracked snowplow will help you against the snow and this model is perfect for clearing large territories. The machine runs on electricity. It has two 500-volt engines. Maximum speed is 3 miles per hour, while the payload is 441 pounds. If necessary, you can buy a rotary brush, a trailer, 
or upgrade the vehicle for autonomous operation. The standard version comes with lighting. The blade is 4 feet wide, enough for both home and commercial use, and the price is about $10,100. This armored amphibious vehicle has already made it to the military exhibition IDEX, so there must really be something to see. The manufacturers are confident that the vehicle will be useful for both military and civilian tasks, and they revealed the following characteristics. The speed on land is up to 88 miles per hour and up to 31 miles per hour in reverse, on water up to 22 miles per hour, a 2500 horsepower diesel electric powertrain and 10 seats, with a payload capacity on water of up to 5,511 pounds. The armored vehicle can withstand waves up to 5 feet and overcome ditches up to 6.6 .6 feet deep. Other technologies include the latest systems for protection against improvised explosive devices, mines and bullets. Tough conditions call for tough machinery. This all-terrain vehicle is ready to work in off-road conditions and is equipped with a 310 horsepower engine. It has a payload capacity of 8,800 pounds and can carry a total of nine people inside. Ground clearance is 16 inches. The vehicle can move on water at about four miles per hour and accelerate to 38.2 miles per hour on land. The type of track can be chosen by the client and you can also buy rear view cameras, double glazing and other features. Air and fuel fired heaters in the cabin and in the back will provide comfort on the road. You'll have to pay about $133,000 for this vehicle. This Japanese car didn't just go from being a computer model to riding on real roads, but it became the fourth similar experiment of Nissan. This model, based on an Altima sedan, has tracks instead of wheels and all-wheel drive, so it required a lot of work. The experts modified fenders, subframes, bumpers and wheel arches, and the project took about 250 hours. You may ask, why all this? The fact is that the American version of the Altima has got an all-wheel drive for the first time, and Nissan decided to draw attention to it. However, they added that these cars won't go into production, and it's a pity, as many people think that the tracks on the Altima look quite nice. Next is a hybrid between an ATV and a snowmobile. The author is sure that he managed to combine the best off-road and driving qualities of both vehicles. The resulting product can reach about 9 miles per hour and carry the driver and 176 pounds of cargo. Moreover, this is the mini version. The larger version has a payload of up to 772 pounds and it reaches 37 miles per hour thanks to a 55 horsepower engine, so it's better than many previous projects. Both hybrids are great on snow and marshy terrain, and are easy to maneuver even in dense woods, and are easy to master. The controls are the same as in an ATV. If you love vans and live in a country with a lot of snow, this hybrid might be your dream vehicle. Take a 1964 Ford Falcon Club Wagon and the tracks from a 1974 Snowcat all-terrain vehicle and voila! You have the perfect vehicle to conquer any snow-covered trails. The creator has thought out even the small details, like folding steps to get into the cabin and throttle and brake levers for each track instead of a steering wheel. The gearbox is automatic, so it's quite comfortable to drive. The last known price for this engineering masterpiece is $22,500. The most powerful version of an all-season tracked all-terrain vehicle in its price category reads the description of this beautiful machine. See it for yourself. It comes with a 24, 27 or 30 horsepower engine. 
It has 14-inch ground clearance, a boat-shaped body, and other cool features. The price starts at $8,900. Curiously, some parts of the vehicle were borrowed from production trucks and cars. The gearbox was taken from the VAS 2110. Also, the manufacturers offer a wide range of additional accessories for any purpose. For example, a winch and a safety cage. It's possible to carry passengers or cargo, including wood. However, some people in the comments are skeptical. They say that in the summer, the engine of this modified all-terrain vehicle would overheat for sure. What do you think? Datsun was a brand created by Nissan, and it has been discontinued twice, in 1986 and in 2022. And some Datsun cars have interested not only real experts, but also virtual tuning masters. You can see a great example on your screen right now. The virtual tracked Datsun reminds us of such projects as the Bentley Ultra Tank, and who knows? Maybe this unusual Japanese car will be built in real life. However, not much is known about its performance. The author was inspired by the toy ATV Tyco RC Fast Tracks, and obviously the Mad Max franchise. If you don't have confidence in your engineering and design skills, but you do have a lot of money, then you can buy this tracked all-terrain vehicle. It is called the Dozor Tactica. It costs about $24,000 and is built in 90 business days. The vehicle is ready to work in the harshest conditions and offers a 33-horsepower gasoline engine, original tracks with five layers of reinforcement and 1.2-inch grouses, a payload of up to 2,205 pounds, plus the ability to tow up to 6,614 pounds, and two to three beds. On land, it reaches up to nine miles per hour, on water, up to five miles per hour, and users are asking for a remote control to be added.